back, welcome back, welcome back. We got some more news today. We do have some more news today. And possibly for us Knicks fans, possibly the greatest news we have heard in about 20 plus years and forever. So let's go ahead and get into it. You guys are new to the channel and you guys enjoy these. Don't forget to hit the like and sub button. So you guys know we talk about all the big news from top to bottom. We talk about all the news, big, big deals, small deals. We talk about it, but let's go and get started with it. Jalen Green, shout out to my man Jalen Green. Second selection in last week's draft, signs his rookie deal for the Rockets. He can make up, he can make up to forty million per year with them. Shout out to my man Jalen Green. Shout out to my man Jalen Green, man. Big ups. Hopefully he does ball out for the uh, Rockets. Him and Josh Christopher, Spencer Dinwiddie, who I cannot stand as a Knicks fan. He's probably a great player. Probably a great dude. He's actually, he's probably a great dude outside of the game. Solid player. But his little comments he makes towards the Knicks and all that. Ugh. But he he's going to Wizards for your sign and trade. Three years, 62 million. Maybe he's come up the, the torn ACL. So, happy for him. He gets his move. Hopefully, he's going to have a bigger role. Ball out with the Wizards. Him and Bradley Beal. But I've had, I have heard Bradley Beal may possibly leave. We'll see. But I think it's like a five, six team trade, some shit like that. Anyway, the next we'll see was second round pick and a draft pick swap from the Wizards. And also creates a 11.5 million trade exception for Brooklyn, which is pretty good. Which is really good. And additionally, the Wizards will trade Jim Hutchinson, who hasn't really been that great since he came into the league to do Spurs. So cool about that. Very, very cool about that. Uh so here's so that's the full deal if you guys. Yeah. That's the full deal. Alphonso McKinney, former Warrior. I think he won a ring with the Warriors. The Lakers have finally officially released him. Sucks. But it is what it is. Sucks. Hawks signed Jalen Johnson to his rookie contract. Shout out to him, man, Jalen Johnson. Hopefully he balls out. Hopefully he balls out. Hopefully he balls out. And this is the news that actually yeah, it shocked me. I was expecting this. Marcus Aldridge seriously considered a big comeback. You guys remember he had that like that. He had a heart related health scare. Had to retire out of nowhere last year in the spring. <sighs> Hopefully he does come back. I love Fizo. Um, I'm not sure how he's going. I'm, I'm not sure how he's going to play. I do. I do remember Jeff Green kind of having a similar thing, a heart related issue, and he came back and, and had a pretty solid career. But hopefully Aldridge can come back. Hoop, because he was, he was, he's a very, very good player. You guys remember his Portland years. Early on with the Spurs. Really, really good career. Hopefully he does come back. Warriors trade Eric Pascal, who I, I'm actually a big fan of Eric Pascal. He's going to trade to Utah for a future protect second round pick. That's it. That's it. I, I do know he did struggle last year because he did have a, a bit of a you know, injury bug, but He's going to Utah, play his boy Donovan Mitchell. It's going to be very good to see. Blazers did go ahead and sign Cody Zeller. Mike D'Antoni's leaving Brooklyn to be a coach advisor with the Pelicans. Because I thought he wanted to coach, like, his own team. I guess not. So, let's see how that goes with the Pelicans. Chris Duarte signs his rookie contract. Happy for him. And my man. My man. Oh, Terrence Davis agrees to a two-year deal with the Kings. Good player, solid player. I don't know how he made it over RJ Barrett for the all rookie team, but it is what it is. I don't care about that. I don't know if you guys seen that video between Drummond and Embiid, but hey, that's gonna be funny how that works out. That's gonna be funny how that works out. Aaron Bands is way by Toronto. Sucks about that. But Dela Depot's coming back to the Heat on a one year deal. Injury prone, man. He's injury prone. I mean, he's not hurt. He's actually saw it, but he's just injuries have just been beating him up. Allen's semi-legic or his way found he are gonna be good next year The he are gonna be good this year. This is to some of the deals For the first round prospects bonus to 10 million Quinn Grimes 11. That's crazy man 45 mil It's a lot. It's a difference between the first and third overall pick So I like guys when they go top, you know, it won't be a top a top prospect <laughs> And it's Cantor going back to Boston on a one-year deal Former Boston player. 
Bulls to sign Tony Bradley, former Carolina man. Mo Wag, oh, Moritz Mag, Mo Wagner, right? Yeah, Mo Wagner. Two year deal with the Magic. And my man, let's go. Let's go. I know you guys are waiting for this. Kimba Walker joins the Knicks. We get a point guard. We get a point guard. He's he's 31, but we we got a point guard. We got a point guard. No more for pay. You guys know we have struggled for years. Jose Cardron, Chris Duhon, Raymond Felton, who's actually Raymond Felton, who's actually solid. Alfred Payton, Kadeem Allen. I can go on and on. We need a point guard. We finally got a point guard. I mean, Kim Walker is healthy and hooping and balling. Oh my gosh. Then lastly, John Collins agrees to, to resign with the Hawks. Not really surprised about that. I knew he was. But for, for us Knicks fans, this is great. Absolutely great. Absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, that was it. That was the news. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys later. Go Nate.